Hey guys, how's it going? Sofa Lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's Locksport update. I just really hope everyone is doing well, and I just want to say thank you again to everyone for all of the well wishes when I did my video talking about my experience working firsthand with patients that are suffering from the COVID-19 pandemic. I just want to say that I really hope everyone is safe out there. I really hope that this will get better with some time, but Honestly, right now, it's not look like it's getting any better. In my own organization, supplies are getting tight. There are becoming more patients that are becoming positive, and the hospitals are starting to fill up. We are starting to use some backup planning. We're opening up more areas, closing down certain areas, and just trying to prepare for the worst. I just want to say I really hope everyone's safe out there and everyone that continues to work throughout this. Thank you for being able to help out the society, everyone that's an essential personnel, and I just want to say, just please be safe out there. But I do not want to focus on that today. I do want to focus on a couple positives. So one of the really cool positives is Lockmania is back. He announced a little while ago that his camera broke, which was the camera on his cell phone, and that's what he primarily uses to film all of his videos, so he was out of commission for a little while, but he's back up and running, and he also announced that he's going to make a new channel, which will have some lockpicking in it, but in more detail it's going to have just some of his other hobbies, so we'll not bog down his lockpicking channel. I just want to say that it's cool to see you expanding your horizons, and it's going to be cool to get to know you on a more personal level. So what I'm going to do right now is just share a quick clip of the video he made announcing his return to YouTube. Hey guys, this is the video I am making to talk a little bit about my uh, new channel. And at the same time I thought it was time to also do a video where you can actually see me on this channel because you will get to see me on the, on the other channel. So this is how I look, <laughs> and um, you can see my uh, most of my lock lap behind me. Another thing I want to say is I have found out who this came from. It came from a legal lock picker. So uh, thank you so much for that. Now the new channel is going to be a little bit of everything, uh, more or less of the different hobbies I have, not all of them, but many, such as there might be a little bit of lock picking. Thank you so much for checking out Lockmania, and I just want to say it was pretty cool being able to, I feel like, meet you now. We have been able to see your face and just get to connect with you on a more personal level. I just want to say welcome back, and if anyone would like to check out any more content by him, what I'm going to do is put a link on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. And the next thing I'm going to share with you is going to be another update segment that is made by a member of our community. This is the lockpicking newbie with a belt advancement report. On March 12th of this year, lockpicker KPA23 became Lockpickers United's newest black belt. Earning a black belt involves many requirements, so KPA 23 actually filled out an application for his black belt that lists all other, how he met all of these requirements. So the first item uh, for his black belt, he made and published specs for a finger pin pick for an asset twin combi. I see a lot of people do this and um, very nice tool, actually beautifully made as you can see in the photo. In addition, he mentored Super Loki on the Dom IX10 KG. Um, that was a, I think it was a red belt then. It's brown belt block now, but still, it's a very hard lock. And to do that, he wrote up this beautiful report with pictures, diagrams, instructions, everything on how this lock is put together. And I'm having flashbacks from my bad Dom experience. Um, how the thing's put together, how to pick it. Awesome, very complete. He also mentored Feral Shooter and Mad Cat on the Bantam M200. Uh, that's a red belt lock now, but it was a black belt lock then. And again, very complete documentation, beautiful photos, how to gut the lock, how to pick the lock. 
he also did two epic quests, and those uh, the ones that he chose were uh, lock manipulation, which um, and for his, he did a four-wheel safe lock, which uh, the requirement is to do three wheels. So he went above and beyond. And again, all this documentation, unbelievable. And then he also did a cutaway lock. Uh, he says because he thinks cutaway locks look cool and he had a, a Dremel. And so there's this cutaway lock. Um, very cool. It kind of gives me the idea of maybe I'll cut up a lock with, with my Dremel because I like my Dremel too. Um, then he um, picked a Bantam M2002. That's a dimple lock with opposing pins, uh, very tricky lock, and a Zeiss Icon R10, which is sort of like a multi-lock R5 uh, plus dimple lock. Um, it's got pin and pin, uh, dimple pins, and a sidebar. As you can see, this is a huge amount of work requiring perseverance, talent, and skill. KPA23 comments that he believes sharing knowledge is one of the most important things on the path of lock picking, and as you can see, he shares knowledge like crazy. And he was motivated by watching other members going up the belt ladder. Me too. Finally, KPA23 says, thanks to the lock sport community, be cool and nice to each other. Congratulations on your outstanding achievement, KPA23. This is the lock picking newbie. Back to you, helpful lock picker. Thank you so much for checking out that really quick clip by Lockpicking Newbie. I just want to say congratulations to KPA23 on reaching your black belt. That is such a really great goal. It is such a really great accomplishment. I really love the philosophy that you have with your progress. I really agree with that. We just need to share all the information we have and just try to be as helpful as a community as we can. It is really great to see how the community has always been able to come together, support our own, and just be one of the best communities out there. But either way, this is all that I have for you this week. If you have any updates at all that you'd like to see shared next week, please drop them in the comment section below. And also, I apologize if I did not share any of the channels from the prior weeks. It's been a little bit hectic. But if you'd like me to share your channel, also, please leave that in the comment section below. And also, if anyone would like to make a channel entry video, which you've been seeing me do every Monday or so. I'd really love to get some more entries and be able to share those as well. But either way, guys, this is all that I have for you today. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section. And if you enjoyed this video, you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day. I cannot wait to see you in the next video.